Let's Just see. how big is the U.S. military? The U.S. military oh, machine is a fearful and gargantuan beast. Look at that. Incredible. Last year, the U.S. spent 37% of the entire global defense expenditures worth $688.02 billion on its military. Tom. The White House's annual spend is the equivalent of the next seven biggest defense spenders, China, Saudi Arabia, UK, India, France, and Japan, added together. Oh my God. America doesn't just have some of the most advanced weaponry at its disposal. It has about 800 military bases outside the United States, and it swells the annual budget. The U.S. Air Force, the U.S. Navy, and the U.S. Marine Corps combined are considered the world's most powerful military. To better understand just how big the American military is, let's take a look at the military power that the U.S. President has at his command. Let's see. This will be interesting. U.S. Air Force. The United States Air Force, USAF, is the air service branch of the United States Armed Forces. It's one of the eight U.S. uniform services initially formed as a part of the United States Army on August 1, 1907. The U.S. Air Force will pound enemies with devastating consequences for weeks before a ground invasion begins. No expense has been spared assembling a frightening array of planes designed to win air superiority, rapidly respond anywhere on the globe, conduct surveillance, and build intelligence. Imagine having that kind of defense uh, to your access. Mm -hmm. So, like, you could press a button and you've got to like, attack helicopters coming and shit. If only. <laughs> Be some powerful person. Yeah. <laughs> As of 2017, the Air Force had more than 5,300 aircraft, 406 nuclear-capable intercontinental ballistic missiles, ICBMs, and 170 military satellites. Satellites as well. Drones have also recently become a recent deadly item of military hardware to call on. Mm. Three types of long-range and stealth bombers totaling 152 planes can take to the air and drop nuclear bombs and conventional weapons. The Air Force has 74 B-52H Stratofortress bombers capable of carrying 32,000 kilograms of weaponry. Wow. 32,000 kg. That's insane. That's like... The fact that they can even like move that... Maneuver They're strong that. as well to yeah. be able to carry that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just generally, just the fact that they can maneuver that much weaponry if they need to is crazy that's probably why they got so many bases i think they have over 800 around the world yeah. they just moving things around when mm -hmm. they need it and where they need it nine b1b lancers and 19 b2a spirits oh we looked at that the jewels in the u.s air force crown are 1442 blisteringly fast fighter jets including the f-16c f-15e f-15c F-22A and F-35A, so many models. all armed with high-powered cannons and missiles. All the hardware and tech is flown, operated, and supported by 321,444 active-duty airmen, wow. 141,000 civilian personnel, 69,000 reservists, and more than 100,000 in the Air National Guard. U.S. Navy. The United States Navy is the maritime service branch of the United States Armed Forces and one of the eight uniformed services of the United States. The U.S. understands the importance of dominating the seas and have assembled a formidable navy. There are 336,978 sailors on active duty and 101,583 in reserve. You know, when you're in reserve, do you just get a call when you've got to show up? Is that how it works? I'm guessing how it works. Let us know. Everyone. Let us know, guys. Like, is it literally just on call and you just wait? Or do you get an email? Or do you have to have like a notice? And then, or do you just have to be there? Like, if they could say, we need you here it, within the next two days, do you just go? America has 11 active aircraft carriers to patrol the world's oceans. 
with two more in production. Its nuclear-powered aircraft carriers have an almost unlimited range. A single aircraft carrier transporting fighter jets and bombers is typically supported by three destroyers or cruisers, a frigate, and two attack submarines. The U.S. Navy has 68 modern destroyers capable of countering threats on and below the water and from the air. More than 50 submarines, many capable of silently launching Trident nuclear missile strikes hidden from view, can sail into battle with 22 frigates and 15 corvette vessels. Many U.S. ships can launch the feared BGM-109 Tomahawk missiles Duh. with harpoon missiles Gone. and sidewinders, also well-known weapons in the U.S. Navy quiver. The Navy's other nuclear weapon is the air-deployed B-61 nuclear bomb, a thermonuclear device that can be dropped by the F-A-18 Hornet and Super Hornet. Naval aircraft can drop all kinds of smart and cluster bombs on the enemy. In total, U.S. naval assets total 415. The Navy is bolstered with more than 3,600 aircraft and 50,000 non-combat vehicles. Wow. What um, branch is your favorite of those two? The air uh, military service or the navy? What do you prefer? When you say choice? favorite, what are we? Like, what do you just think is cooler? Like, what do you think? Feel like? Oh, I think they're both far. Yeah, you don't have one that. No, nah, I one think it's the other. really cool to be, you know, in the air, protecting your country in air. Yeah, but then you're under sea as well. I think they're both as cool as each other. Yeah. I agree with that, but if I had to pick one, I think I'd say air. Only because you know how I feel about boats. I get very seasick. seasick. Yeah. <laughs> Let's just say he wasn't seasick. Then um, what? I think I like I like how the Navy move. I think they're very tactical. They're not saying that uh, the air team, a military isn't, but I feel like, you know, when they're saying they, when they move, they have like two submarines, a br- br- uh, is it Bridget Brigitte or Frigate, whatever it's called, and like attack boats and stuff. Like they move in such a formation where they wouldn't just send a boat out on its own. Like, they're proper... Wherever they go, they're proper... But I think that's like the Air Force as well, though. They want to just send one... Jet. Jet on its own. They might do, because it's quick. It could just go. But, like, when they're moving, like, the carrier ships and stuff, they just proper protect it. I think that's quite sick. Mm. It's just more formation. Mm. Yeah. Unity. Yeah. U.S. Army. Let's not forget the Army. The United States Army is the land service branch of the United States Armed Forces. It's one of the eight U.S. uniformed services and is designated as the Army of the United States in the U.S. Constitution. There are more than one million active duty U.S. soldiers comprising 476,000 regular troops, a 343,000 strong National Guard, and U.S. Army Reserves totaling 199,000 soldiers. The U.S. has 62,000 combat tanks to support its soldiers, a significant number, but less than Russia and China. It has 39,200 armored vehicles, which include armored personnel carriers, APCs, and infantry fighting vehicles, IFVs. The U.S. Army can shell its enemies with 1,050 vehicles with mounted rockets and 864 towable artillery cannons and deadly field guns. U.S. Marine Corps. The Marine Corps. That's serious. The United States Marine Corps, USMC, also referred to as the United States Marines, is the Maritime Land Force Service branch of the United States Armed Forces, responsible for conducting expeditionary and amphibious operations with the U.S. Navy, Army, and Air Force. As of 2017, there are 186,000 active duty Marines and some 38,500 in reserve making it the smallest U.S. military service. In line with its agile operational remit, the Marines have an array of weaponry at their disposal, including almost 20,000 armored carriers and trucks, 400 M1 Abrams tanks, and 1,300 amphibious assault vehicles. From the air, the Marines can unleash 168 F-A-18 Hornets and hundreds of F-35 Lightning II and AV-8 Harrier jets. The Marines can call on around 150 AH-1 Cobra gunships, dozens of Hercules aircraft to move troops, Hercules. and the support of unmanned drones. They look sick.
Let's not forget the US civilians. Every civilian practically has a gun. So although they have all those reserves and all the army. You have your citizens. Try the citizens. They're yeah. known for fat. They're all ready to go. Yeah, they are ready <laughs> They're an to army go. themselves. They're like another, how many million was it? Reserved themselves. Yeah. Guys, thank you so much for recommending the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We're going to do more content on uh, the US military and other mi militaries as well. So keep recommending videos for now. Peace out. Bye.